again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 7th of February, 2019. I posted a number of videos. I talked about the typhus epidemic that's sweeping across Southern California, mainly in the Los Angeles area, from what we've been told. And I asked the question, I said, well, what about LAX? Well, just got this article posted on the Los Angeles Times. It was posted on the 7th of February by Dakota Smith. Title, L.A. City Hall overrun with rats might remove all carpets amid typhus fears. I went ahead and I did a little search. L.A. City Hall is 12 miles from LAX. You don't think that LAX has got rats running through it as well? Huh? And with the hundreds of thousands of passengers probably every week that go through LAX, how many of them are being attacked by these fleas? And they're taking the typhus fleas on the airplanes back to their countries or to their states. This is a worldwide potential epidemic. Have you heard President Trump talk about this at all? Because I haven't. Have you heard the new governor talk about this? Gavin Newsom? Because I haven't. At a Halloween celebration at City Hall last year, a rat nod through a pumpkin put out for decoration. In another incident, city workers found a dead rodent decomposing in an office ceiling, and then there were rat droppings spotted on at least two different floors of the downtown building. L.A. City Hall has a problem with rats, and leaders fed up with the problem are calling for an investigation. <laughs> That's a good idea. Who are you going to investigate? City Hall President Herb Wesson on Wednesday submitted a motion asking the city to report back on the scope of vermin and pest control issues at City Hall and adjoining city buildings. How about LAX, folks? Huh? How about the prisons, folks? Huh? Employees shouldn't have to come to work worried about rodents, Weston said in an interview. I intend to do whatever we need to solve the problem. City workers at civil offices say they've seen evidence of rats. At least two city workers say they were bitten by fleas. There you go, folks. The council president said he's had a series of problems with vermin in his fourth floor office, as well as fleas in the carpet. Things got so bad that he moved his entire staff out of City Hall to a district office for a few days over the holidays, he said. And what good is that going to do, moving them out for a few days, you idiot? Vanessa Rodriguez, a one-time Wesson spokeswoman, said late last year that she discovered thin paw prints on papers on her desk. It looks like the artwork of a small child with rubber stamps, said Rodriguez, who no longer works for the city. Staffers saw signs that rats were nesting in potted plants in Weston's office, she said. The plants were mashed down in a way that looked like heavy objects had been placed on them, and bite marks were visible on the leaves. In his motion, Weston is seeking a cost estimate to remove all the carpet from the city hall and adjoining buildings and replace it with alternative flooring. The motion also calls for a tally of live plants including varieties that are most attractive to vermin in every city-owned or city-operated building downtown. Weston also wants the city to come up with a policy to require employees to secure their food after hours and for custodial service to throw out food that's left out. His motion doesn't pinpoint an exact reason for the rats. Well, we know the reason for the rats, you jackass. The city's got garbage all over it. From the homeless. They're crapping in the streets. Wake the hell up! You don't know the reason for the rats? Absolutely insane. His motion doesn't pinpoint an exact reason for the rats, which tend to seek shelter when it's rainy and cold. 
But does not the demolition of a nearby park center and ongoing cleanup issues near the city hall complex? But notes, I apologize. Last year, county officials declared a typhus outbreak in downtown Los Angeles. At the time, health officials said people should avoid wild or stray animals, including rats. <laughs> yeah, well, who the hell's not going to avoid a rat? Huh? You need to have to tell people that? Bunch of idiots. Typhus is a flea-borne illness that occurs when fleas bite rats and become infected with bacteria known as Rickettsia typhi or Rickettsia fides. The illness can spread to humans through flea bites or through the feces of infected fleas, then rubbed into cuts or scrapes in the skin, according to U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention. City clerk Holly Wolcott, who works on City Hall's third floor, said a flea bit her ankle last fall. She's concerned the flea may have come from a rat. During a Halloween event in the office, staffers discovered that pumpkin had been gnawed out by an animal, she said. And a few weeks ago, she saw the tail of a rat as it scurried behind her couch in her office. It was pretty big. I thought it was a possum, she said adding that the Department of General Service set up traps and fumigated her department. But the problem persists. Why don't you just demolish the buildings? When Elizabeth Greenwood, a deputy city attorney, came down with typhus, she said she suffered a 102 degree fever, spells of vertigo, the worst headache I've ever had in my life. She works in City Hall East, a building connected to City Hall. I'm actually terrified of entering the building again until they do something. She applauded the move by Wesson as a great step. That carpet is years old and more likely it has fleas and flea eggs in it, she said. I would really like to see the building fumigated for both rats and fleas. I hope they don't wait. Mayor Eric Garcetti's spokesman Alex Camasar said the mayor is concerned about recent reports on this issue and supports the council president's effort to get to the bottom of it. Again, folks, they're not paying attention. They're not focusing on LAX. You want to bet it's rat infested? Hmm? Totally insane. I'll attach the link. You look at it. You pass this along to your like-minded friends. Repost it in all your social media accounts. Ask them to do the same. Thanks for listening.